In today's video, I'll be going over how to export assets, images, and screens from inside of Figma. I have a few examples here. We're going to be going over a design that I made that has a bunch of different UI elements in it. And we will also be going over how to export icons and also just a plain image. So first up is our screen here. Um, this was just a little concept I worked on for practice a little bit ago. And as you can see here, I have this all finished and now I want to export this to be able to use it elsewhere. So the way that I would typically do this is first, I want to make sure I name this something descriptive um, because if you didn't know in Figma, whatever you name your frame or your group, that's what the name it will be exported as. So if I were to export this right now, it would just be MacBook Pro. So let's name this. You'll see on your right hand panel, when you have it selected, you have this export tab here that comes up and you can just go ahead and put plus and you can see that you'll get some options here. So you can go ahead and open your preview. Usually it won't look very different from the screen that you have in your viewport. So for this, you can actually export multiple ones of this. So for example, I would like to have 1x and 2x and we can add a suffix, which adds it at the beginning of your name for your file. So we could do at 1x for this one and at 2x for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this. And you can go ahead and pick where you want to save it in your finder window. Um, or if you're on Windows, it'll show you the corresponding UI for this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save it in this folder here. So now when I pull up my finder window, I can see where these have been exported and you can see it's corresponding to the frame name that I gave it inside of Figma. So let's go ahead and move on to icons. So for icons, you're typically going to want to export these as SVG depending on your use case. For most applications and websites, it's better to do SVG just for speed and for loading capabilities. It makes it a lot faster and easier for your application or website to load them. So here, I've gone ahead and already named this icons slash image. So it gives some context as to what this is. And if we had multiples of these, if you use a slash, it actually export these into a folder that is named icons. So for example, if I had icons slash image and also icons slash camera, and it was a camera icon, then when I export those and I look inside of that folder, it'll give me a nice folder with icons as the name. And when I go inside, it will have both image and camera. So let's go ahead and add export capabilities to this one as well. I'm gonna go ahead, click the drop down, and go to SVG. And you'll see that it disables the size of this. And that's because SVGs are rendered at a specific size based on what you made them. So for example, this will be at 48 times 48 because that's the size that I've given it here in Figma. And it exports this as a vector. So it can be scalable and resizable to any different size that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this. Same thing, if I go into here, as you can see, it does make that folder that I was talking about. And I have my image SVG in here. And you'll see it's rendered at a certain size. And this is normal when it shows this whole white part here, um, that's okay. But when you use it in context or you hand it off to developers, it'll work just fine. Next, let's do images. So images are pretty similar to screens, like the first example that we did. Just for example's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and export this as a JPEG instead. So you can actually add and also subtract different exporting types and sizes. I already have a descriptive name for it, so I can just go ahead and export this, same folder. And then when I look in that folder, you'll see that it is export this as a JPEG. So we have all of these in here. We have the 1x, 2x, and also our folder with the icons and this JPEG that we just exported. So that's how you export assets, images, and screens from Figma. Let me know if you have any other questions or if there's any other videos on Figma that you would like to see from me. I'll be working on some new ones over the next coming weeks, so be sure to subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you later.